G'day guys, welcome back. It's resin day, yay! <laughs> now, I'm going to revisit my um, dragon scales today. I've done a few of them. Some have been more successful than others, like this one worked really well. This one, not so well. <laughs> but um, still really pretty. So, um, yeah, like I said, I'm going to revisit, I'll put all those back, revisit the dragon scales today. But today, some, a little bit different colours. I'm going to go with reds. So, let me get my gloves on. I'm using my Platinum 360 Plus resin. And I'm going to go with some kind of reddish, blackish tones. Um, I made up... Uh, 300 and actually made a little bit extra just in case I wanted to make more of one color than the other. <clears throat> I did 250 grams of A and 108 grams of B. So that's what I've got. One, two, three, four, five. I've divided them up into five little cups there. And let's get started. Actually, I might just put that there so that I don't spill mica. Right, my first color is going to be the white satin by Lorez and I do a nice big scoop of that like so well it's it's slightly rounded scoop okay <laughs> like so now I remember when I did one of them I can't remember which one it was but I didn't stir the mica in properly and um oh I should show you what this one is so I've got bits of um gold I think it was that dropped through maybe that one maybe that one so yeah I'm gonna stir it really well next one is going to be antique copper by Perlex jacquard I'll just use the same little spoon there we go like a rounded teaspoon these little cups are about two-thirds full they're 120 mils or four ounce cups uh, I'll do the micas first. This one's also by Jacquard Perlex. It's the silver. It's the dark silver. And I thought that would be nice teed up with some black. Whoops, there we go. So there we go. And nice little rounded teaspoon again. That's that one. And then I've got two pigment pastes. And I'm going to keep them relatively transparent got this gorgeous one here uh, black cherry look at that isn't it gorgeous color by Lorez I will put the website for Lorez in, down in my description um, and also there's a coupon code if you want to get a discount because who doesn't want a discount right yep <clears throat> they do uh, sell or ship worldwide so I want to have this I want to have it a nice dark colour, but I still want to have it a little bit on the transparent side. So let's do... Um, I can always add more. Hey, let's do that. Let's see how that goes. I won't put the lid back on just yet in case I need a bit more. And then the other one is just the black, Midnight Black, also from Lorez. If your pastes go a little bit thick and dry just put the whole container in some hot water for 10 minutes or so until it goes nice and smooth and then and runny and then um, give it a good stir these ones are okay but I do have some that I haven't used for a while that tend to do that it's easy enough to get them back and there we go a little scoop on the end and again I won't put the lid on that now I'm just going to mix these up um, it's going to take me say five minutes or so so um, I'll come back to you so it's boring you. Right, oh, mixed them all up. I mixed the micas three times, so hopefully I don't have any little particles floating because if there are, they will drop to the back. And the back is going to be the side that you want to see. So make sure that you've got no bits of mica. All right, now my red. I'll tell you about my red. It's obviously a very transparent colour. Um, 
and so I added an extra scoop of the paste and it still was really really transparent so what I did was I added 12 drops of this red from Lorraine's I don't know what it's called it's got number three written on it, it was a sample that Susanna Dank sent me so I'm not sure what its name is but I added 12 drops of that and it gave me this really dark red it's still transparent so that's that one all right let's get started I've made a little list of what I want to do like the the um, order that I want to do and the first one is going to be black so here we go I'm just going to get a piece of paper towel to catch my drips and we're going to do puddles I'm hoping that I haven't made the black too too um, opaque now because the the first puddle needs to go the furthest I'm going to add a little bit of extra I'll use just over half of my black because it's you know as I said it's got to go the furthest out subsequent puddles like you know the amount will probably get smaller all right there we go I've got a little bit of black left now the next one is going to be my copper and each of these is going to have two layers each color will have two layers so I'll save just under half again the first layer will be a little bit bigger so save just under half for the next layer and the next one is my white. I hope this works, you guys. It's been a while since I've done a dragon scales. And dragon scales is just the um, just the name that we give it. Yeah, it gives us crackly effect, and the effect that effect is done by mica powders. The mica powders do that. Especially the metallic mica powders will do that. Um, all right, now red. I don't know what's happening with that little red there. Must have. Oh, not sure what happened. They must have had a little bit of the white on the on the side of the stick, maybe. Not sure. Um, all right, that's the red. Now, the next one is going to be my silver, metallic silver. I'm going to have to get a new piece of paper towel. <laughs> this one's getting dirty. Actually, maybe it was the paper towel that transferred the colour. Actually, it probably was that little bit of white onto my red. All right, let me get another piece of paper towel. Throw that one out. Okay, now the next, actually, uh, before I do anything else, let's do some torching uh, and then we'll get on to the next colour. Oh, you're empty. Just with my little torch. It's not a huge flame, it's just a little flame and I'm only doing it on the, the surface there. I'm trying not to touch my mould. Alright, there we go. Okay, so that's that one done. And now we go back to the white. And just a little bit. Oops, baby towel, baby towel. I'll finish the white off now. really important that you don't drip into any other part of your puddle because it could show up. I'm a bit concerned about that not going through there. I'm just going to put a little, if I can drizzle just a tiny bit of black in there. I'd probably ruin it. <laughs> All right. Um, now, what am I up to? What am I up to? Um, Oh, black. Okay, black next. And I haven't got much left, so it's just going to be a little bit. 
you can see what I mean about the first layers having to go further. They've got to go right out to the outside of your mould. I mean, these ones will push out as well, but you don't need as much. Oh gosh, getting into a sticky mess. Resin's a sticky mess, isn't it? Let's scrape this out. I'm not concerned if I don't use all of the resin, as that I have got a little bit extra that I made up. Um, oh my gosh. Now, what's next? Uh, black copper. Copper's next. Copper is next. So I chose a copper that wasn't too orange, because you know how some coppers are really orange? I wanted it to be more sort of on the the reddish side I guess that's why I went for this antique copper and I know that the Pearl X make amazing crackles or dragon skins I actually did it by accident probably about a year ago when I was first started with resin um, I was actually quite disappointed because it's not what I wanted um, but now it is what I want <laughs> so Right, <clears throat> um, copper, what am I doing next? Silver, silver, and then we're going to finish off with the red. Silver. And I'm not doing the centre, as you can see, the little heart, because I just want to try the technique. Oops, it spilled a bit. Um, and you just don't get the same effects if it's not a round piece. Um, got, I've got a little bit of the white left. I might use that because I want to make sure that these are full. I might just put a little bit of white or not. I'll stick to what I, I had done. <clears throat> um, so I've got a little bit of the red left, but I don't think it's going to be enough to, oh, let's put a tiny bit, to fill the, the moulds. Let's just put a tiny bit of white in. And then I'll just pour the rest of my red in. So I'm using the red, really tr it's a transparent, instead of a clear. Um, previously I have used clear, but look, it's, I don't think it makes any difference. It's still transparent and, you know, clear is transparent. So it should work fine. Try and do it from up high if I can. Push those colours out, but yeah, I haven't got a lot left. But it's acting as my clear would do, but obviously bringing some red into the the picture because I want the I want them to be you know on the reddish side. I know I'm not going to get red red. It's not what I want. I just want like a reddy tone with the copper, um, and hopefully some black in the crackle, like in the lines. Not sure if it'll work, but sort of hoping for the red copper puffies <laughs> and then the black in the crackle lines, if that makes sense. Okay, so that's all I've got. There isn't any more. So I didn't use up, actually, you've got a little bit of other colours left over. I probably should have used them all up. But um, I didn't. And also, actually, I should, oh, also I should probably tell you, with my black, um, I've still got some black left over. Um, you know that scoop of black that I put in? When I started stirring it, I realized that it was way, way too <clears throat> opaque. 
you know the blacks and obviously an opaque and the reds are transparent so that was way too much so I, I took half out and I added some clear back into it that's where the rest of my clear went so that's probably why I've, I've kind of run out now I'm just going to get these sticky gloves off all right a little bit concerned about that there that I've added what can you do all right let's torch again and then I'll cover them up Oops, come on. Are you empty as well? Oh my gosh, two empty torches. All right. <laughs> I didn't really want to pick this one up because this is the one I was using before and it's got resin on it now. So I'll just have to wash my hands with very carefully with the alcohol. Some little spots here little white spots I'm not sure maybe I didn't mix my mica in as well as I had thought I, I thought I had you know I mixed it three times or it could just be the fact that I've popped bubbles and the micas can't kind of come up in the bubble it could be that all right, that's enough torching for now. I'll come back in five minutes and give it another little torch. Um, but I've got some, because I touched the torch with my resin covered gloves, I've now got resin on my hands. So I'm just going to use my alcohol and I'm going to give them a really, really good squirt with the alcohol. Um, and then um, that will get that bit of resin off my hands and then I'll go and wash them in soap and water. But, you know, normally, obviously, you don't want to be touching resin with your skin. Moral of the story is don't take your gloves off until you're totally finished. <laughs> All right, um, let's go down for a little close up. I will bring you back maybe in an hour to see how they're doing. See, those are some of my other dragon scale ones that I've done. Around here, so hopefully, what tends to happen is the resin pulls from the outside in, and that center closes up totally. So we'll see if that happens. Hopefully, I'll get that nice black ring around the outside. This one I'm a bit concerned about, but. Previously, when I have had pieces that I thought, oh, that's not going to work, um, you know, because it's had <clears throat> like some weird bits on it, um, they've turned out beautifully. So who knows? Who knows? Like this one. <clears throat> See, this one here has got that, <clears throat> excuse me, croaky voice again in the morning. That big blob on the side. I thought, oh, that's not going to work. But then, you know, it's perfect. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. All right, I'll come back to you in about an hour and uh, we'll see how much they've moved. See you soon. So I went and made some molds, got some orders for some molds. So I went and made some molds. Probably taken me about oh, an hour, hour and a half, and I'm back. Don't think they'll move anymore. Almost closed up on all of them. The studio was quite cold this morning. It was only 16 degrees. I put the heater on it, took it up to 19. I found when I did this, this one, this was my original and my sort of first one, um, that I had a little bit of resin left over from an, from my other um, dragon scales that I did. And I so I poured that one last. So the resin was thicker. And... It was different like this one here I think from memory I warmed the resin up and it was thinner so you get it from what I can see you get a different look as well from when your resins are more thin resin and it moves more as opposed to a thicker resin and it doesn't move very much so we'll see how these are going to be I didn't warm the resin the room was cooler it's probably not moving as much See, that one, it didn't close up totally either. What about this one? Eh, see, they haven't they haven't sort of closed up totally. So anyway, we'll see what happens. Um, it's only 
Oh, it's 10 a.m. <laughs> I've got an early start today. So I'm going to unmold these um, later on today and then I can put the video up tonight for you because I've got to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> All right, see you soon. Righto, guys, I'm back. It's uh, 5.30 in the afternoon or almost. So I did these at 10.30 this morning. So that's it's like seven hours. And they set, they're probably still going to be a little bit bendy, but I want to get them out. I'm really keen to see if it's worked. All right. That looks like an eye, doesn't it? All right, here we go. Please work. Are you ready? Oh, it's worked. Oh, wow. Yee it worked, it worked. Can't really see much in the way of red though, can we? Nope. The red was a transparent color. So I guess that's why it sort of looks like, um, it's like a chocolate brown, isn't it? This copper around the edge is very dominant, which is really weird because I poured the black first weird isn't it weird how, what resin does you can see a little bit of the like the silvery color has blended with the copper what do you think not what i was going for at all but <laughs> never is is it oh, okay this is the one that had that weird section there that i was worried about because i poured that extra little bit of black on the side there didn't i i wonder if it'll show up there we go Oh, okay, we've got white. Oh, look, there's a tiny bit of micro I didn't mix in. Don't look at that. <laughs> oh, okay, well, this one's a dud. That's weird, isn't it? Because I poured that extra black on there, but I think what I need to do in future is cover the whole surface with my main colour first. That way I know it's got to all the little edges. But we certainly did get the crackle. Just not up against the edges, which is weird. Like this one here, the crackle went right up to the edges. I'll have to go back and have a look and see what I did on this one, see why it didn't work as well. All right, let's have a look at the others. I guess they're going to be all very similar. All right. Yep, very similar. I actually quite like this ring of copper. It looks more bronze, doesn't it? because it's mixed with the black. I do like it. What do you think? Do you like do you like the border? We'll call it a border. Or do you prefer the crackle all the way up to the edge like that one? I don't, I don't think you really get a choice, do you? It it just is what it is with the resin. It does what it wants to do. But I will look back on that one and see what I did differently. All right, last one. Look at the shine, so pretty. Oh, and the same, a little bit off center there. But definitely, to pre prevent that from happening, pour the whole surface in my transparent color first and then start my puddles. So shall we do it again? We'll do it again. Um, and I'll see if I can get, um, a red I'll use that same red and then I'll use see what I've got in the way of um, like a red mica and put two put a red mica and a, a red paste in because yep I lost <laughs> I lost all the red oh, go figure all right these two are good 50% I got 50% so I'll be happy with these two the other two not so much but these two are keepers what do you think let me know what you think down in the comments and um, yeah, definitely have another go with the reds and um, yeah, see if I can get a little bit closer to what I'm going for. But look, these are divine. Love them. Love the crackle, the dragon skin. Um, they've turned out really, really nicely. And let me know what you think of the border, whether or not you like it or you don't like it or whether you prefer a border like this with more crackle. 
a little bit of border around there. I mean, I painted a little bit of it gold. Oh, copper. Copper on that edge. Probably won't even see it, though, because of the copper. But, um, yeah, I'll go and look back on that one and see what I did. All right, thanks for watching, you guys. And um, I will continue to do some more dragon scale videos for you, if you wish, because um, I really like them. I might even put some little... Um, sparkles or something in the middle next time just for something a bit different what do you think all right i'll see you soon for the next video bye for now